Hi, Anthony here. For the tutorial on how to make animated quotes and explain your 3.0. EVC 3.0 comes with a ton of preset text and object animations similar to the ones that you're seeing right now. So this is one of the many animated quotes that I created and I will use it as an example in this tutorial. I'm currently using Explained Your Version 3.031. So this is the same animated quote I just showed you before. So to begin with, choose a quote that you want to use and then break it down into several parts depending on the animation effect you want. For example, I've broken this quote down into three parts. And I also included the author of the quote. So these are essentially the text boxes with the text animation applied to each box. So let me increase the timeline and zoom in. So this is the first text box with the words always do your best and I apply the rotate twister text animation. This is the second text box with the words what you plan now and I apply the twist stop and spin text animation and this is the third text box with the words you will harvest later and I apply the slide from down text animation and finally the author name I apply the zoom in down text animation. So these are all the text boxes and the animations on the timeline. And this is what it looks like once it's completed. You would have noticed that I also added a background video. So I added the background video in the scene tab in this section right here. Okay, so now let's create the animated quote step by step. Okay, so let me create a new scene. I'll start by adding a text box. I'll click the Add Text button below. I'll change this text to Always Do Your Best. I'll change the font. And then I'll increase the size of the text box. I like to use a grid which I've created and you can check the description section to download it. So I'll click the paper button down below here. I'll just choose the grid and click add image. As you can see this really helps in terms of aligning. Now I need to add two more text boxes similar to this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhide the timeline by clicking this small button right here. And instead of recreating another two text boxes, I'm just going to use this duplicate button. And as you can see, it created another entry here. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And as you can see now, I've got two identical text boxes similar to the first one. Now for the first text box I'll add an animation point by clicking on the animation button down below here. And it creates as you can see another entry there. And I'll move it right up top. So this will basically animate the text box and move it from the center to the top. I will then add a preset text animation to the first entry. So I'm going to go right to the timeline and I'm going to drop it down and then click right here and then choose a text preset text animation and I'll choose a rotate twister right here and I will then change the text in the second text box and I'll do the same for the third text box I will then rearrange these two text boxes on the canvas. And actually we need another small text box for the author name. So I'm going to go back to the timeline and then use a duplicate button once again. And then I'll change the text. And then I'll decrease the size of the text box. Okay, so we're getting there slowly but surely. So now let me apply the preset text animations to the other text boxes. 
So I'll go to the timeline and to the second text box I will apply twist, stop and spin just like I applied for the first one. And then to the third one I'm going to apply slide from down. And then finally for the author text box I'm going to apply zoom in down. I'm just going to move this right up top. So now let me close the canvas by clicking the close canvas button down below. And as you can see, they all animate simultaneously. So what we need to do is change the position of the text boxes on the timeline. So I'm just going to go right up top and I'm just going to move these ones like so. So let's do a quick preview and see how it looks. So that's not too bad. We just need to now adjust the text boxes so we have them evenly spaced out. So that looks okay. Once you're satisfied with the animation and the text alignment, you can remove the grid. So I'll just open the canvas and then click the paper button once again. And then this time I'll click the remove button. So now let me close the canvas once again so I can show you how to add a video background. So I'm going to click close canvas and in the scene tab right here, you can add the background in this section right here. So essentially just click the browse button and then navigate to the folder and then choose the video background and there you have it. Let's do a quick preview. You can also add text effects under the text tab. So let me just close this. So if I go to the text tab, you can apply various types of effects right here. So for example, if I show you the original, you'll see that I've applied the light bloom to the text. So make sure to save the project at regular intervals when creating the video. And then finally, you can render the MP4 video by using this create button right up top. Or you can also use this create video from scene button. But that's pretty much it. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful and fun. I've created a video showcasing some of my animated quotes as well as a tutorial to show you how to use the text animation feature, so feel free to check him out.